Opposition leaders in Syria have won a key endorsement. A group of Persian Gulf countries have recognized their coalition as the legitimate representative of the Syrian people. Mouad Al Khatib comes to the Arab League. His mission to gain international recognition for the Syrian National Coalition. The Gulf countries immediately recognized it as the legitimate representative of the Syrian people. But other Arab states, notably Iraq and Algeria, had reservations. So a compromise form of words was agreed on. This is more than just diplomatic procedure. Political endorsement paves the way for more tangible support. No one's talking about the kind of direct foreign intervention seen in Libya. But getting arms from the West and from Arab countries is now very much on the table. Consequently, Arab League foreign ministers meeting in Cairo recognized the Syrian National Coalition as legitimate, but stopped short of calling it the country's new authority. However, the Prime Minister of Qatar called on all the other opposition factions in Syria to join the coalition, so all sections of the Syrian people could be united. The Syrian opposition's new national coalition is beginning to gain legitimacy, a critical first step. Now, it was supposed to be an alternative body, a body that could truly represent the Syrian opposition, one that the international community's key players that are supporting the Syrian opposition would in fact be comfortable negotiating with. At its head, Muaz al-Khatib, a Sunni, a former imam, very well known for his messages of unity. One of his deputies, Riyad as safe, a prominent Damascus businessman who was critical in bringing these various groups and individuals together, and also Suhair Atasi, very well known for her advocacy of women's rights. Initial reaction from inside Syria, a certain sense of relief that at the very least the majority of opposition activists feel as if this is a body that initially is truly representing them. But this is the very first step in what is sure to be a very long and challenging road ahead underscored only by the growing death toll and the ongoing cycle of violence that we see every single day coming from Syria. The Arab League suspended Syria's membership exactly one year ago following the ongoing violence in the country. The National Coalition hopes that at some point it may be able to take over that vacant seat in the next step towards wider international recognition. The developments come as violence continues inside Syria. On Monday, a Syrian warplane bombed the rebel-held town of Ras Al Ain, close to the Turkish border, forcing civilians to flee. Turkey said one of the bombs exploded just 10 meters from the border. Several people were believed to have been killed.